Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Zero Designs here and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do the 2D wave effect in After Effects. So um, this is the basic idea of what it is going to look like. So it might be a bit fast but um, I'm just going to play it through. So you get this first wave and then the second wave and the third wave and and you get these big waves and I'm just gonna go through all of them it's pretty much the same concept but um, well I'll just show you what it is so um, first off we got the square so let's get into After Effects right click new composition uh, doesn't really matter what time and stuff like that so um, we'll just get in and just create a new solid for our background, create a dark kind of uh, grayish color. So next up, let's double click on this square in the top left corner and open up the rectangle one, rectangle path and unchain them and make it 200 by 200. So here we got the basic idea of our square in a composition. So let's just rename this, um, click the layer, press enter, make it back ground and shape layer and let's make this a square alright so next up we are going to select the square go to layer mask new mask and this is the basic idea we're going to use masks to um, cut out the shape of the uh, kind of wave effect and um, that's pretty much what we can be working with. So um, just go to your pen tool, hold it, and select the Add Vertex tool. Now just go kind of in the middle and create a new keyframe. So there we go. For no keyframe, no keyframe. Uh, I mean mask um, kind of um, point. So now to create the wave effect, we have to have more space below, and I'll tell you why in a second so um, now just go to the convert vertex tool by holding the um, pen tool again and drag it out like so kind of um, 48 45 degrees I think it is so um, like that so now to keyframe it go to the start and select the mask 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 path and just click, select your mouse tool by selecting V or whatever and double click on it on the mask you just made on the yellow line pretty much and just drag it down so you can't see anything now just go control shift um, forward arrow control shift forward arrow that's gonna give you 20 frames in forward 20 frames 20 frames forward I'm sorry can't talk so double click it again and just drag it up so now you can see why we made the um, extra room below it before so we can actually actually fit it in so um, here's the basic effect but um, it doesn't, doesn't really look smooth at all so as you can see we gotta make it a lot smoother so um, we got to do that by selecting both keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease so that's gonna make it a lot smoother already. So um, let's say we want to make uh, another layer on top. Just uh, Control C, Control V, drag it out a little bit, and change the color of it to layer one. So here you get the basic idea. So next up is the uh, circle one. It's the same principle and you can also just add a roundness to the square so just select the square go to add round corners and make that a lot and um, it'll make a circle now so um let's delete the square and go to the kind of sandy waves i think they are yeah it's the same principle but i'm just going to show you so new file uh, right click new solid i mean and what color we're just gonna use kind of um sandy yellow so same idea go to layer mask new mask select our 
add vertex tool, go to the middle, at a point. It doesn't have to be precise, but yeah, you can be more precise if you want. Drag the two points out and go to the convert vertex tool and drag it out like so. So now again, just go to the first second, go to zero, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and make sure to keyframe the mask path and double click and double, oh, I'm sorry, let's use the selection tool, double click on your path, drag it down, control shift, forward arrow, control shift, forward arrow, maybe one time, control shift, forward arrow, and, oh, sorry, double click it again and just drag it out so it fits the screen again. So there we go, same principle, select both keyframes. Keyframe assistant easy is going to make it a little bit smoother. So now the last one I think is the text. Yeah, it's the same idea again. Go to right click, new text and type in zero designs. I'm going to use a font called Gotham. It's in my uh, intro pack I released today. So I, I released a while ago when I released this video, but it's today. So um, just download that and you'll get the font. So um, here we have our basic text. So um, go to select, make sure you select the text. Go to layer, mask, new mask. And same principle again. Go to add vertex tool, point in the middle, drag out those points. And convert vertex tool, drag it out like so. Go to the beginning, mask, mask, mask path. Selection tool, double click it, drag it down. Control shift forward, control shift forward. Make sure you select your map. Control shift forward, control shift forward. Select the yellow line again and drag it up. I think I don't so. Yeah, just like so. So um, that's the tutorial for today. If you enjoyed this or you want to know more tutorials, please leave a like and comment. Give me some motivation. And uh, my puppy just fell asleep on the fucking couch. It's so cute now. But um, hope you enjoyed this, um, hope you learned something, show me your creations, stuff like that. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Oh wait, we forgot to easy ease this animation. So I'll just do that quickly. So thank you for watching, please subscribe, goodbye.